Are you missing out if you're not invested in cryptocurrency? That's what we're going to talk about on today's episode of Friends Talk Financial Planning. Hi, I'm John Shear, and I run a fee-only financial planning practice in Middleton, Wisconsin. And I'm Bridget Sullivan Mermel, and I've got a fee-only financial planning practice in Chicago, Illinois. And before we start on crypto, let's talk about subscribing. It helps us out. Please subscribe. Now, John, cryptocurrency and uh, the underlying fear of missing something if you're or missing out if you don't invest in it. During the recent Super Bowl and on the TV a lot now, we're seeing ads from celebrities, uh, Larry David, Tom Brady, uh, encouraging people to uh, buy crypto and also playing on people's fears of being behind the curve, uh, Everybody's being left doing behind, it, right? missing out. Uh, you're missing something. It's very important if you don't do it. Uh, so let's talk about that. What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I love that ad that's going on with Larry David and, and over history, right? <laughs> oh, no, this is indoor right. plumbing. Who would do that? We go to the bathroom <laughs> right. outside like right. humans, you know? And Democracy. Stupid people and, get to yeah, vote. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it's a really interesting topic. And uh, at the end of the day, kind of, I'll just cut right to the chase on things. One of the things I talk about with clients all the time is the idea, and it's, I think it came from Warren Buffett, that there are no called strikes in investing. So, right. No cold strike. Mean? So what, is, yeah. what does that mean? Listen, when the pitcher throws the ball in a, in a baseball game, if it goes down in the middle of the plate, that's a strike. You only get three of them. In investing, they can throw every pitch can be a big fat home run ball. And if you don't have to swing it up, right, there's no called strikes. But when you swing, you got to get a base hit. Mm, okay. Right. And so what if crypto is the best thing ever? That's very possible, right? But you don't have to invest in that to be successful. Right. What if this or what if that? But the things you do invest in have to be, you have to make hits, right? You can't right. swing and miss, right? So that idea of it sort of doesn't matter. Maybe crypto is a fantastic thing and you look back in 20 years and go, golly, that was a great investment. If you do it right, you don't, that doesn't have to, that's not going to impact your personal lifestyle, your personal retirement, those sort of things. So that's how I describe it is it might be great. We don't know, but that doesn't mean that you have to invest just because it's great. Yeah. Well, you're, it's somewhat like uh, real estate, say. Some people don't like real estate. They don't right. want to own a home. They don't, they, God forbid they have rental property, you know. <laughs> and uh, so that's okay. You don't have to. Right. And you can still uh, retire successfully, be okay, have plenty of money, even without that investment. Right, right. So, and some people, similarly, they hit the stock market. We're, we feel like, or I feel like I, you generally need to uh, invest in the stock market unless you want to save a lot. Yeah. And it's just because of the returns are generally, like historically, much better than other things. But there's people that they hate the stock market and they save a lot and they're still fine. Yeah. So it's not like, and so they miss out on this whole whole thing and, and that's okay. So uh, I think it's interesting that you bring that up with crypto. Like it's okay if you miss a whole thing. Right. That's okay. Well, you know, the other thing about this is we tend to have um, selective memories, not the right term, but you remember the good mm -hmm. things, not all the rest of the right. things. And here's, you know, 20 years ago when I first started doing this, it was one of the big things is, hey, the baby boomers are getting older. Healthcare is going to have to radically change. This is something we, we're going to need more of it. We should invest in it, right? Completely legitimate right. premise. But when you take a look back and you go, what things have, just because something changes the world does not mean it's a great investment opportunity. Mm, yeah. think, think about cars, right? Now, who do you know that doesn't have two cars in their right. household, right? And you go back 100 years, right, in the, in the early 1920s, and cars, you know, the horse and buggy was still a thing, right? right. Boy, cars revolutionized the world. And I used to know the number, but at, at one point, there were something like 200 or 300 car manufacturers in the, in the United States, right? In right. the early part of the century. How many are left today? I think you can uh, count on them on, on yeah. one hand, right. right? You know, and and how many people got rich investing in those companies? Yeah. Maybe some, right? right? But a lot, I mean, 90% of the other ones are gone. Right. It revolutionized our world. Right. Same thing with airplanes. Right, you think you think back. You know, we we both just took nice trips, and golly, airfare is relatively cheap. And fifty years ago, taking right. a plane trip was holy moly. You dressed up, and that was a big deal, <laughs> right? And now a plane is like taking a bus practically. And again, how many airplane manufacturers were there? How many airlines were there fifty years ago? How many are left? Not that many left, right? And and I remember Warren Buffett used to have one talking about him. He used to say back in the 90s that every time I think about buying an airline, I've got one phone number I call, my friend 
friend picks up and says no and hangs up. <laughs> his his stance has changed on that, I know, but it's that sort of thing. Like yeah. it revolutionized how we travel. Right. Does that mean it's a good investment? Not necessarily, right. right? So part of it is segregating out. Like maybe crypto is an awesome investment. Maybe it's going to change our world. I don't. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great investment though. And we or look it- back historically at some of those, and then you combine that with what we're talking about. Like listen, just because it's a great, it could be a great way to make money doesn't mean you have to right. make money that way then you go like yeah if it's if it's fun for you we talk about it. i right. think you do too is listen if we have a gambling account right if yeah. you have, you know take take some risk nothing wrong with that no more than 10 percent of your investment portfolio no more than five percent in any one investment right. individual stocks some real estate limited partnership right. crypto gold that's great right. um, but the bulk of your money has got to have a, a disciplined diversified plan so that's how right. i look at that, that I think that's, similar that's to you yeah. totally uh same boat so I, uh, if people want crypto and they, the, the things that in this gambling account or the fun account, I think of it as, okay, that's the stuff that you want to watch and it's fun for you. Mm-hmm. So it's not something, the, the rest is like, let it ride. And, uh, as one of my clients once said, put it in the bank and don't peek. Yeah. You know, just let it go. You know, put it in the oven and let it bake. And don't be opening the door all the time. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, but this, the uh, fun money account is different. It's the one that you can get involved with. You can uh, follow the soap opera of the stock market with if you want to buy individual stocks. You can uh, buy crypto, the latest thing. Okay, fine. Uh, We've had a couple videos when we talk about why we're not that, uh, why we're skeptical about crypto. But uh, if you want to buy it, there's nothing wrong, but it's, it's just don't put all your money into crypto. Again, John's guidelines of 10% for the total account, not more than 5% for any one investment. That's awesome. You know, the other thing that that uh, pops into my mind now, Bridget, and I, I, I tend to look a lot at history and try to get perspective on things. Occasionally, we'll get folks that'll say, "Golly, if I had, uh, you know, if I had uh, invested more in Google back in the old days, oh, sure, or Microsoft, right. or you know, in these," and you go, "Golly, I now nah, I could retire now," and that's factually true, yeah. right? But we tend to forget, you Netscape. know, back in Netscape, that's exactly the one. <laughs> it, Ask yeah, Jeeves, yeah, remember that? Like, how right. did that investment turn out <laughs> right, for you, right? Exactly. We look at the winners and yeah. go, oh, geez, yes, I should have invested in this crypto thing. But you forget about the other 50 that went right. out of business sort of right. thing, right? And so you go like, yeah, yeah, you know. And again, it's just human nature. You remember the the good things, right? And and uh, and so if you think about some of those, go like, oh, yeah, that's right. I used to use Netscape. I remember Ask yeah. Jeeves. And you go, that wouldn't have worked out so well. Huh, this diversified plan right. for the bulk of our money. And I still want to, I've, I've got some individual stock. It's fun to play with, right? You know, it's, but that's not where the real money is, right? right. That's where the things like, ah, I, I think this might happen or that might happen. Nothing wrong with that at all. So um, I guess maybe that's a good place to wrap up Great on things, right? Up. That with, if you're interested in cryptocurrency, it sounds fun to you. Absolutely. You know, feel free to go ahead. Don't feel like you're missing out. If you're not doing it, if it's right. not interesting to you, you don't need to do that to be successful. And ignore the ads that are trying to play on that very common fear of missing out That's or right. missing something, like one of my friends calls it. Uh, with that, I'm Bridget Sullivan Mermel. I've got a field name financial planning practice in Chicago. John Shear is here in Middleton, Wisconsin, and he's got a field name practice too. We're both members of ACP or the Alliance of Comprehensive Planners. It's a group of fee-only planners, not-for-profit group, and we operate uh, comprehensive, tax-only, or tax-focused planning all across the United States. So you can check out acp.org for more information about if you're looking for a planner. And remember to hit that subscribe button, and with that, we'll see you next time.